a problem we have to add 27.2 kilometers east, 17.1 degrees north. So let's look at this factor. 27.2 kilometers, 17.1 degrees. You start pointing east, and then you go north. And then we add the second one, 17.2 kilometers with 54.5 degrees. So once you have it drawn, if we look and we add the two together, this is what we're interested in. This is our starting point, our finishing point. So we need to know both the length and the direction of this green arrow. Now, if we look, that green arrow, we can make that green arrow if we know the two side lengths. This is a right angle triangle. So if we can find this side length and this side length, we can use Pythagorean theorem to find what this length is, and Sokotoa to find what this angle is. So the key with this problem, to find the length of that green arrow, we have to know the two side lengths. Now we can find the two side lengths, the first side length, by adding this and this, our two x components. Notice we can redraw each one of our vectors as an addition of two vectors addition of the x and the y. If we take this pink root, we start here and we finish there. Or if we take this green root, we still have the same starting and finishing point. We just get there differently. So our key is we've got to add these two and that'll give us this side length. We have to add these two and that'll give us this side length. Once I know my two side lengths, it's a little easier problem to solve. So, what I've done here, I've taken each vector and I've redrawn it so that I've labeled my vectors. Let's look at the first one. My first one, I walk 27.2 kilometers east, 17 degrees north. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to find what that x1 and that y1 is. We can do the same with the second one. 17.2 kilometers, and I want to find what that x2 and y2 are. So let's go ahead and find what those values are. From our first triangle, if I try one of these operations, I might be able to find what the x and y components are. So let's look what we have. We have the hypotenuse. If this is my angle, across from my angle, that's my opposite side. And beside my angle, that's my adjacent side. So I have my hypotenuse, and I want to find what my opposite and my adjacent are. So I'm going to use so and ka. So let's try so first. Sine of the angle is opposite all of our hypotenuse. Sine of 17.1 degrees, we sub in our values. Our opposite, we're calling y1, and our hypotenuse is 27.2. Now to get y1 all by itself, I multiply both sides by 27.2. That's going to get me 8. Now our units here are, we worked 27.2 kilometers, so this is going to be 8 kilometers. Let me try cos. Cos of the angle is my adjacent over hypotenuse, ka. So cos of 17.1 degrees is my adjacent, adjacent's x1. My hypotenuse is still 27.2. So if I want to get x1 all by itself, I multiply both quantity, both sides of the equation by 27.2. Pythagorean 
type that into my calculator and you get 26. My units are going to be the same as what they were for the hypotenuse. So I just found what the two side lengths were for this green triangle. So if we look at the green triangle, that was initially this one. We have 27.2 is our hypotenuse. Our y value is going to be 8, and our x value is 26. So that's what we found. What I want you to do is try the second triangle by yourself. See if you can find what this side length is and this side length. It's the exact same process, just with different numbers. So if you do this correctly, you should get values of, well, 10 for the x and 14 for the y. Ten kilometers for the X and fourteen kilometers for the Y. So now what we know is we know all of our X1, Y1, X2, Y2s. So what we found, what we found was we found the length of this and the length of this. So if I want to know what the total length in the x direction is of this one and this one, I just add those two together. If I want to find what the total length is in the y direction, I just add these two together. So let's go ahead and do that. X direction, Y direction. We have eight kilometers. This is our first one that we're looking at. Eight kilometers and 26 kilometers. Our second one, we have 10 kilometers and 14 kilometers. So we add those two. In our x direction, I have 18 kilometers. And in my y direction, I have 40 kilometers. So what we just found was the side lengths of these two right here. So to find this, our resultant, which is this, the side length we're actually interested in finding, I just have to use Pythagorean theorem. Now that I know these two sides, and it's a right angle triangle. I have 18, 40. And I want to find what this side is. So I'm going to call that side C. I do C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And this turns into the problem that we were doing the other day. Once I found my side length, type this into your calculator, you also have to find the angle. So you find the angle because you know what the, if this is the angle, this side is opposite, and this side is my adjacent, and here's my hypotenuse. So I can use tan of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent, where my opposite side is going to be 40, my adjacent side is 18. So I'm going to finish up on the next page and show you the final answer.